need honor is what? Yes, 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 yes. If you need happiness in your home is what? Yes, 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 yes. If you want the home to turn upside down so that nobody can enter, is what? Yes, 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 yes. I was studying my Bible and I discovered, sir, that this marriage, marriage and family thing we are talking about, we are not the orchestrator. Mm. We are not the one that fabricated it. We are not the one that said, okay, they don't want me, I don't go rich to marry, I must marry. I mean, it's not my by God. my making. My God. The Bible said, God derived interest. Mm. So it was God's own purpose and plan. Mm. And the Bible said, in Genesis chapter 2, open to Genesis 2. Genesis chapter 2. When you see, if you, if you read the old of Genesis chapter 2, because of time, we will not have time to read all that. But the Bible made us to know that God created all he needed to create and he finished the work. And when he finished, in Genesis chapter 2, the Bible told us and that God went to rest. Mm. And in his resting, he considered the fact that the job has not actually been finished. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Hi. And the Bible said, somebody to jump to verse 7 for me. Jump to verse 7. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Verse 7. Seven of Genesis chapter two. Yes, sir. And the Lord God formed man. And God is look at. Take, I want you to understand something. The, God, the Bible told us that God has finished. Mm. Six days He finished heaven and earth, creation, trees, animals, and He went to work to rest on the seventh day. But in His resting, He needed to complete the entire job to give it beautification. And the Bible said. He created man. Read for me. Yeah. And the Lord God formed man yes. of the dust of the ground. Yes. And breathed into his nostrils. And breathed into his nostrils. Hmm. The breath of life. Hallelujah. God breathed enter your body. So who you be? Mm. No, no, no. If God breathed into you and you became life, so who are you? I'm God. You are God. You are God. That is why the Bible told us that life and death is in the power of the tongue because we are God. What we speak matters. Mm -hmm. Hello, George. Uh, are, are you following? Yeah. Please pay attention. What we say matters. Now, God finished creating man. We were thinking, according to Bible history, we thought that the old job would be finished there. But God did not leave man alone, He gave man a job. Am I right? Yeah. He gave man an assignment by creating the Garden of Eden. And he put man there. He said, take care of everything. Name all the animals, name all the trees. Whatever you call them, they will be. Am I right? Yeah. God did not stop there. Tell somebody, don't stop there. Don't uh, stop there. there. Look at somebody say, don't stop there. Don't stop, don't stop there. there. God did not stop there. If you go to verse 24, help me read verse 24. Verse 24. Therefore, no, that, before, before 24, go to 18, verse 18. 18. Yes. And the Lord God said, And the Lord God said, It is not good that a oh, man Jesus. should be alone. I will make him and help me. Hold on, sir. That's all I wanted. Now, this one is to tell you that you are married today, or you have a wife, or you have a husband, or you are planning to get married is actually not your orchestration. Ladies and gentlemen, are you with me? Yeah. Yeah. It's not your doing, it's not your making. And the Bible said in verse 18, and God said, it is not what? Good. Oh, say it like you are the one preaching. It is not what? Good. It is not good. It's not pure. It don't make sense. That a man should be alone. I have given him enough assignment. Mm. He needs a help. Yes. And now, go to verse 24, sir. Verse 24. Yes. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother. Good. And shall cleave unto his wife. Beautiful. And they shall be one flesh. Beautiful. Now, before that place, before the cleaving, when God created man and he gave man assignment, God now said, after looking at what Adam was doing, he said, ah, ah, somebody need to keep this guy company. Somebody need to at least them and say, ah, well done, you try. Ah, so you're missing, are you still that ground? Ah, you try. Now you want to fix this 
bomb, you try. Mm. You help her. Somebody to to make you feel that you at least you are trying. Mm -hmm. And God, God caused a deep sleep. Take mm. note, friend. God created man and make and breathed into man. So man is like God. Yeah. Now God did not go and form woman again the way He created man. He caused man to sleep. And in that deep sleep, God took something out of man to form woman. When Adam woke up and saw a strange woman, nobody tell her. Mm. Nobody tell her. He see the woman once, the Bible said, and when he saw the lady, he, he said, this is what? Oh, oh my God. God. The flesh of my and she shall be called. Because she was taken out of me. And that was why verse 24 now came. He said, For this reason. Someone say, For this reason. For this reason. I'm trying to marry something. Look at what happened. The woman was taken out of man, a born from worry to create woman. And when Adam saw the woman, he said, indeed, this is my own. And God now said in the scripture, he said, for this reason, shall a man live and cleave to his wife. And they too shall become my flesh. So, if somebody don't stand altar, don't take vow, they don't chop rice on your behalf, you don't cut cake, you don't pack people, go village, carry moto. You don't do bright price. Don't pay. All the necessary things you don't do. Where is it coming from? The word divorce. <laughs> Where is it coming from? That that same woman you took time to beg. That same woman you were falling up there and like, hiding behind the, the, the fence to just her. The same woman you did everything you told all your friend that you would die after. Now you are slapping her, you are beating her, and God took her from your rape. People need to understand. I told my wife a few days ago, she's here. I said, The things I know now about scriptures, certain things, see, let's not play religion, let's not play society, let's not play what is okay. Now, like what is the rain? Let's play by. Tell your, your neighbor, play Bible. Play Bible. Bible. Tell your neighbor, say, play Bible. Play Bible. I told my wife, I said, the things I know now, if I had known then, if I had that understanding, I'm not sure I would even shout hmm. at my wife. Not to talk of making a tent to raise hand on the woman. Church, are you following me? Pay attention. Hmm. I'm going somewhere. Are you following me? Hmm. You did everything possible. You didn't have money, you borrowed because of one fine babe who you won't go marry. Now, small challenge don't come. You are denying the same girl. You don't fight for your wife again. And you need honor. The same babe with the papa, the same woman you were doing everything to make sure that people stood by you, elders followed you to the village. Now, what you are doing now? Elders are ashamed. Mm. Nobody can talk to you now because you are now the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings of your home. Oh. <laughs> you cannot do anything. Now, now you don't say no fine. Now, now you don't say the thing will stand before the sleep. <laughs> Who comes up to sleep? Not you. <laughs> so, we want. <laughs> Father, I <didn't> know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Marriage is sweet if you follow the principles of God. Marriage is what is sweet if you follow the what the principles of God. In Matthew chapter nineteen verse five, it is there written there. For this reason, shall a man not only Genesis, even in the New Testament, the case. Yes. He said, for this reason, Matthew nineteen verse five, shall a man. Not a woman. Mm. Listen, oh, Bible scholars, follow Bible. Not a woman. 
Shall a man, so who God they send the message? Man. Man. Who God they send the message? Man. Man. We're in an era where they said, woman can now just pay, those pay, pay bright price, uh, woman can now just a man, uh, pay bright price for man. If be the one to, to start the scope, then a man God sent. See, man of God, I don't want to mention it, but I have a couple they are having challenges in their home. For the past seven years, the man has not been able to buy a thing for his wife. Hmm. After marriage, seven years. He can't take care of the children's school fees. He has not bought a gift for a wife for seven years. Not to talk of mother-in-law and father-in-law. What happened? What went wrong? The day of the marriage, come, come, come. Now somebody paid the right price for her. See, no matter how broke you are as a man, young people listen to me, no matter how broke you are as a man, record this one down. You can borrow anything to marry. Don't borrow the right price. Oh, Make sure say the bright price money. Right can use the man on that. There is something on it. If somebody had paid bright price for you, as you enter that home, your manship lost. Are you hearing? Yes, your manship it got lost, it disappeared. Because don't you pay bright price? Mm. Some people say no matter. Some things matter. Matters. Mommy, it matters. Some things matter. matter. If you borrow suit wear, borrow anything, borrow whatever you want to borrow, but see that bright price. Make sure say that you go work or swam. Pay Because the honor of the marriage, the grace God's gonna put on you to be a head, to be able to take care, is on that thing you paid. We are touching so many things. We are using fashion. We are using religion. We are using new modern life. But we don't know the consequences. Mm. We don't know the consequences. But look at After God instituted marriage, in Genesis chapter 3, the devil came. That was show face. <laughs> Why? Because devil, the devil doesn't like anything good. He don't know, say, this marriage will not start. One good thing won't come up. God don't start something good. So you won't come scatter. So the devil showed up. So when you see challenges in your home, it's because there's a good thing in your home. Hallelujah. There's a good thing that is about to come and the devil is about to show up. But I get this morning to announce for you that every good thing the devil is about to steal from your home. This morning, I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. He not go meet the man mm. and the woman. Why are you saying that the woman? Because he knows he's a weaker vessel. Mm. I came to let you know if you need honor in your marriage, it's painful that the church is so scanty today. A lot of people are not here to hear some of these things. If you need honor in your marriage, no one is perfect. Hope you know that. Yeah. No more, no marriage. So don't compete or compare yourself. Not even me, nobody. But if you need honor in your marriage, mm. guide your marriage. Hallelujah. Guide it with God's principle. Mm. Guide your marriage. And respect your union. Respect your union. Respect your union. Treat her like there is no other woman on earth. Treat him like there is no other man. Am I talking to us? Yeah. I, I see. You, you don't understand. Even your man might not be trying. Your woman might not be trying. But there's a way you, you redefine situations. There's a way you change gear in your home. Eh? You get the way you go change the gear. Gradually, gradually, things could be aligned. Mm. The man will not agree come as quick, go they come. Mm-hmm. The man will not agree give you money to cook food, go they give mm-hmm. you. you. You everything is in your hands. That's right. Everything is in your hands. So respect your union. Respect it. The Bible told me in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4a. I'm correct. Hebrews 13, verse 4a. He said, marriage is honorable in all. Am I right, sir? Yes. 
Yes. Marriage is honorable in what? In all. In all. In all. This all. In sickness. In whatever, whatever. Every time face not go smooth. Sometimes pimples go show. If people show, not be the time to say your wife don't work. Well. When you go marry at that time, people's not there. Now inside your house, people's come. So manage that with the people. Say, man. He go clear. Somebody say, go clear. He go clear. Not so. Not so. When you marry her, skin they grow. She was still young. Now you don't pump her. She don't grow. You say she's too fat. Oh, but encourage her ministry, the fatness. People like us, we are slim in the Holy Ghost. And when we see the bodicious one, we are encouraged. Because upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Hallelujah. So when they are following us, we know that uh, the foundation of the earth remains short. <laughs> Praise God. Please celebrate Jesus. Uh, you know, you know God, I, they slice me like bread. You know, I can't carry another one with a slice. Uh, if it's bread or pass, who go catch each other? <laughs> so we love them the way they are. Bodicious. Hallelujah. Uh, Praise God. Celebrate Respect the whole. See, there are things you will do. Now people go wrong call me to say, how am I the door? I just they like, I just they see the way and I go pass, if I go come. Now. My husband, I know they try, don't help me encourage them because they are looking at you. Yeah. You are the first Bible. Mm -hmm. In your street, in your company, in your business place, you are the first Bible. Mm -hmm. It is an error for a man to be in God's presence. A woman to be in God's presence. And in your compound, nobody recognizes you as a Christian. A lot of hate. When I don't even the fight, they come and shout. Streets don't they gather for that case. Streets. Streets. Mm. I don't come to church on Sunday. Wow. With uniform. <laughs> Sometimes protocol. <laughs> your suit and your tie and die. Then you just slap your wife three days ago for streets. People, they would have you say, Say, me, do not leave me. She's stubborn. The same person that God said, The flesh, the flesh, the bone. He said, And two of you will become one. Two of you will become one. That they were ashamed. They were naked and were not ashamed. They were not ashamed. Now, now you know, say, you will eat. Let me not go into some young people are here. Say it, say it, say it. But what I want to say is that God took time to create a woman mm. and handed that same creation unto you as the man mm. to finish the rest work. So the woman is not perfect, neither is the man. But you as the man, you have more responsibility because you are the prince of peace of the home. You are the pastor of the home. You are the head of the home. So irrespective of your little challenges and your faults, you must grow up mm. so that you can take care of the one God has committed into your hands. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Don't play and dance and fall to every beat you played. Mm. Hey, that's what you do. I'm here. Give me my shirt. I'm going. I'm not eating this food. Not be everything she does to go. The provoke. Not be everything. Not be everything. In fact, if you are not even careful, the wicked ones. They will be happy that you are not even eating. <laughs> but that is not a godly family. Yeah. That is not a kingdom family. So treat her, treat him well. The way you treat your wife or your husband should be what will bring honor or shame or disgrace. Mm. First Timothy chapter 3, verse 5. If I will remember, it says, If a man cannot take care of his home, no, he said, He said, A man that cannot take care, I mean, take care, I'm not talking about provision now, taking care, guiding, raising your home, is it the church? That you can now take care of. Read it for me. First mm. Timothy. First Timothy chapter 3, verse 5. Let's see what's there. Yes, if, a man know not how to rule, if a man know not how to rule his home, how shall he take care of How shall he take care of the church? How? 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 We were talking about love. If the love does not start from
of the house. The way you love your wife. The way you see. Oh. The godly marriage. If you follow the principle of the godly marriage, you will enjoy marriage. Mm. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Even when even when you are soaking curry, you'll be happy. That's yeah. true. If, I saw one of my choir members this morning. And I said, ah, this air you are carrying. Is it what you people call one million bread? <laughs> the way the thing is fine on you now. Wow, this is me. Just imagine if her own husband oh. tell her that like oh. five times all through the week. Mm. Where she will feel. Where she will feel. Many of us, the men, we don't know how to even. We don't want it. Ah, sometimes I can tell my wife, if I don't like this air, remove this one, put the other one. Yeah, yeah. I select some things. That's the truth. That's the truth. I, I know. See, I'm telling you, the church wants to grow. Everybody wants church to grow. Let the love. Let it start from home. So let me tell you, some some of you, you hide a lot of things. We see, we see, we see. The, some of us, some of us, we just stroke. You have like five families in your home. Only you just stroke up. You don't know. Say, the spirit of God. If you don't tell me, say. You don't get problem issue for let me call it just come. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of you, let me call it just come. But you will come and you tell us, say, uh, uh, one went to work, another one is, they, is not feeling fine, two want to write the exam. You are covering up for them. But sometimes it could just be the fact that the home, something happened no, no. in between. But let me tell you, in all that happens, it's, mm. one of, it's, it's part of the thing, mm. it's part of the honor. It's part of the glory that is to come. Mm. Don't deprive yourself of the kingdom of God, of the house of God, because there, there, there was a little misunderstanding between you and God. Mm. Is somebody still being blessed here? Yeah. yeah. Somebody still being blessed. Yeah. In Ephesians chapter 5, from verse 22 to 23, the Bible told us, He said, Wife, submit thyself. Submit yourself unto thy own husband because he's the head. So not be the man automatically make himself the head of the whole. Mm. It was God that made yeah. the man what? Yeah. Yeah. You have your opinions, they are fine. You have good agendas, they are fine. fine. You have good ideas, they are fine. But how do you present it before your husband? Mm. If your husband will buy into it or not. So of us, our communication is rugged. Rugged. We don't sound lovely at all. They say, when, when, when two of you were in courtship, or when, you know, relationship started, you know the names you used to call yourself? Mm. Those names, are you, are you sure some of you, are you still calling those names now? Yes. I've been a... Uh, are you still calling those names? Man of God, every time I get to this level, I ask myself the natural questions. I, in fact, I have to put my Bible aside and I ask myself the natural question. Where did I see that time for the girl body? When did we go after her? What did I see? What did I see? Can't that thing keep me going? Mm-hmm. Can't I find a way to rejuvenate that thing and make it better? Mm-hmm. Than seeing the worst part, than seeing the ugly side. Than seeing the lapses and the weaknesses. You were calling names. You were doing all kinds of things that time. You were buying Shabama, buying ice cream. Suddenly, you don't know the ice cream there again. In fact, you, there, you say ice cream document from market. Because you don't want to buy. Then you, the woman, how do you position yourself? Because you know. The Bible told us that the devil is like a roaring lion, mm-hmm. moving about, seeking for mm-hmm. to devour. Women the are filled with all kinds of spirits. They don't care whether you are a married man. They don't care what's happening. What they see your life is picking up. There are girls everywhere. So you, the woman in the house, are you doing your best to make sure that your husband maintains? Mm. Are you doing your best? Because sometimes we have the problem naturally. Submit yourself. Why in the process of submission, how are you packaging your life? Suddenly, because of two children, two children where you born, two, just two, 
You don't, you don't, you don't the tire apart for street everywhere. You don't go with one hand. Only two way you walk. And the man gonna go, you're gonna see, you're not even the hand again. Now because you, you know the child. You know the child. Please do everything possible. What see what I'm saying eh, is not because I am saying imitate anybody, because everybody has a culture in their homes. Develop your own culture. There are times the man just wants bomb shot. Give up. Oh, amen. amen. It's the ministry things. Because now you pay the bright price. They don't have you pay. Oh. I'm telling you. Sometimes two of you alone just do things together. Compromise one another. Compliment. Compliment. Anyhow, just flow. That is how the home and the life of marriage becomes beautiful and honorable. It pains me when a particular spouse, maybe it's the man or the woman, loves a particular thing growing up, or she loves certain things, and now she's in marriage, and that door has been closed. Mm. Woman, where they like to take pepper soup before, now mm. because he married you, she not even drink pepper soup. Woman will like to go swimming because she married you. And you now, you are not trying. You are not even saying, which time I going to take my wife out? You know that your agenda. You just try to come, try to go, try to come, walk, 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 walk. You are not planning anything. To have a sweet marriage, there are certain things you need to take and watch out for. Mm. To have a beautiful marriage, number one, communication. Mm. Number one, what? Communication. Bros, I want to tell you one good thing that you will love and you will thank me for later. And that good thing is that Always learn to talk to your wife softly. Mm. You will thank me later. Yes, there are so many great things that have come out of speaking softly and loudly. You are shouting over everything. Over, as in over everything you shout. That's the spirit of insanity. <laughs> you shout over everything. Everything you shout. That's not how God communicates. The Bible told me, sir, in 1 Kings chapter 19, am I right? Verse 12, he said, after the earthquake, come the fire. Elijah was waiting to hear God. Elijah was thinking God is going to come from the earthquake. God was not found there. The earthquake was shaking. God not there. God not there. Fire show. Elijah still waiting to make God. Fire show. Elijah still waiting to make God. God not did them. The Bible told me, sir, that immediately after the fire, there comes a small still voice to communicate with Elijah. Hallelujah. How many times have you taken your wife? Say, no, we're not even supposed to talk for hours. Let's just throw to Sweet Spirit to tell me. Let's discuss something beautiful. Sometimes in the night when the kids are sleeping, or when you are back and you're feeling good. You discuss certain things, what you saw or what you were about to do in a still small voice. See, there are one thing I love about women, they can remember something. He said, The day you go do one thing when you never do since you married, the day you go do one, okay, the day you will do something you have never done before. Check what how your wife will behave from that day. That's true. <laughs> Don't be thinking now what you have not done before since you got married. Try it. Just try it. They're dead back and they hear me. All those on the back. They are hearing me. <laughs> Just try it. In a still small voice, God came and discussed and gave Elijah principles and things he needs to do. Another thing you need to do as a man to keep you home, honey. To keep the home beautiful, to keep the home sweet, to bring the honor to the home, is to make sure that your wife is empowered. After the head is the neck. Every president has the vice. Every head 
of state or whatever head of any unit had a deputy. If you not did there, now your wife could stand. Are you, are you, have you thought of empowering her? She not stop Sabi speaking this way, you marry her. Mm. Bring Tisha for her and make the Tisha so that she will speak when they represent you. Yeah. Not me to go marry another one always have speak with English. Mm. We had that one day when they marry this one. Oh, oh. Empower her. You are hearing of all kinds of cream, all kinds of beauty things, and you see other women. Do it for her. So women love certain things. They might even go to school get certain girls, but they don't want to use it to work. They just love business. They want to say eh. They want to do like Esther that is on TikTok. They want to do all kinds of things. They want to sell uh, whatever. Call them. Find out what they want to do. Discuss. Empower your woman. Empower your woman. See, that alone, eh? That alone brings calmness to the home. A woman give you trouble. That alone brings calmness to the home. It brings calmness to the home. Learn to empower the woman. That's number two point. Number three. As the head of the home, please put in place what we call policies. Not everything goes. What people will say, anywhere with Belen face now, frontier. Because Belen face face will be a long. Put policies in place. Put policies in place for your children, for your home, for se- just do certain things. Put them in place. Nobody just go and come back 9 to 10. You say you are giving them. No. Not even in this era. Maybe it's before, but not now. Put that policy. So, so time everybody should be home and make sure your family is. Even when a visitor comes, tell them. For here, we don't they stay outside this place. Mm. Just tell them. Your culture should be your culture. You have married the wife, the wife you have married the husband. Two of you is to raise your way, raise your home, be yourself, and do what you know that will be a blessing to your own generation, to your generation. He said, a man that cannot take care of his family, especially his immediate, mm. is worse than an infidel. infidel. So everything you are doing is to make sure that your immediate have a name that will glorify God. You are married. You are already in your own accord. You are already in your own empire. You are already in your own atmosphere. And you are still relating to the people you have left that God has told you for this reason. You and your husband will be one now. You are still carrying everything. They are not the one giving you advice on what to do in the house. Pharaoh. Ah, Shia. And you, when you want to make sure call, you make sure the man is not hearing, or the woman is not hearing. Problem. You have this. See, you, you are giving yourself problem, real problem. You have started it. When an era where things are happening, sir, your mother-in-law will be advising your wife. Now, when things they good, so make sure say if they give you money, well, well, they say, for say, for you don't know what to happen, no. Say, wrong, wrong, great, wrong piece of advice, so wrong, wrong things. Take nonsense. And the woman will not come, will not, be, will not be following you as the man. Will be doing one kind in the house, one kind in the house. You don't know where she's getting some things from. Please. The Bible says, and both of you will be one flesh. One flesh. I'm telling you, the only thing that, that can bring honor to the home. Honor to the home. How would you leave your husband? You have no plan to it. You as a wife, you are you are buying a car for your brother. And your husband and you are you are, you are trekking. How would you plan to go behind? And, 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 and buy a land somewhere and hide it and your husband is not aware. Or you demand, you bought and your wife, you see, the bank, let me tell you, 
the bank, the banking industry is so wealthy. Yeah. Many, many managers are in so much wealth. Many bank owners are in so much wealth. Why? Wow. The man has so many things in the bank, and the woman is not aware. The man don't die. Nobody to take over. Nobody to come say, now their own. Or the man gets so, so money. So what would the bank do? <laughs> Some of the things we are doing, we are thinking we are wise. That they will affect the generation that is coming. Yeah. Something that your child, your wife ought to have known and will not be using to take care of the children. You, both wife and children will be suffering. Mm. And wife get, and husband get, will die with millions for bank. When nobody knows because he do not tell wife. Oh, I, terror. A lot of things is happening. A lot of things is happening. Don't follow society. Follow Bible. That's why it's paining me that so many people were not in church. Follow Bible. You, your home will be honorable. Honorable, respected. If you follow biblical principles, I'm not trying to say that there are some things you cannot do privately. Yes, mm -hmm. you can. But make sure that the way the society and the world is going, <laughs> communicate. And who is the best partner to communicate with? Is your spouse. It's supposed to be your spouse. Would you leave your spouse to go and tell your history to another person? Mm -hmm. I get out of Dubai, I can't leave my wife where supposed to know. My wife will leave us my way supposed to know. You'll cut them one uncle. Say, so I beg you, don't worry. Check. I... No, no. <laughs> Put policies in place. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Proverbs 22, verse 6. <laughs> yes, read. Sir. Verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. In the way he should go. And when he's old, when he's he will old, not depart from he it. He will not depart from it. Put policies in place. Policies. Put it in place because you need to train the child now. So that when he's old, you his policy that you put in place. Your children are not up to the age of using smartphone. You went and bought an iPhone 14 Pro. And they are now using it instead of reading books. Is at the age of nine, ten, is 40 promas. No worry, 40 promas, they found the waste for them. <laughs> when you see the repercussion, put policies in place. No way to do certain things. Am I, am I talking? Yeah. Just no way to do certain things. No way. So, no way they should go to bed. And children, obey your parents. Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Verse 12. Yes, sir. Honor thy father and Honor thy mother. Honor thy father and thy mother. That thy days may, that be, thy long days may be long. Upon the land which Honor. the Lord thy God giveth thee. Honor thy father and thy mother. Youths, young ones, please. Honor your parents. Respect them. Obey them. And give the values of the home. Every home has a value. Give the values of the home. Give the values of the home. And parents, please. I want to let you know, everybody. Be careful of what you share. Be careful. That's why you need to guide your home. Protect your family. Love them like never before. Care for them. Everything you think you can do, do it. As a woman, respect, honor, pamper your husband. In order to try yourself, now still your own. Mm -hmm. Another person not going to leave your own wife, come marry you. Now still your own. <laughs> They're not training, they're not training. That's still your papa. Mm -hmm. Am I talking? Yes, sir. That's still your papa. That's still your mama. If anything happens, nobody cares. The world does not know if they did not train you or they could not or not. They will call you. You don't, your mom will be ready. You don't hear your mom, your daddy. They say, they say, you see, they will still be calling. 
So he is still your father. He is still your mother. Don't be too big to learn. Don't brag. Don't be too stiff before God. Humble yourself. There is nothing in this world. How you talk to people, how you take care of people, how you help people, whatever you do in this life is waiting. Mm. It's in front. You think nobody's seeing you. You think nobody cares. You think nobody knows. But it's waiting. And be close to God in all dimensions. God has shown you enough mercy. Even the things you did that you think nobody knows. Mm. Only you and God knows. Mm. God is still looking at you now. He has shown you mercy. Mm. Even as I'm talking, you know there are things you have done. God. So why do you not forgive your husband? Or you don't mm. forgive your wife? Just because some little clash. Mm. Meanwhile, you have done so much things that are abominable in the sight of God. But God has shown us mercy. The Lord of my days, I have you shown me mercy. She let him Treat your family well. 
his heart. When the tough world, not just tough, the wicked. Are you, are you hearing? We're not just in a tough world, but the world is what? Wicked. wicked. The world is wicked. I called when my wife wasn't feeling fine, she was in the hospital. Everybody was calling. You know, you know our matter the way they be. People were calling. Remember, my mother in law, she said she wants to come the next day. Her sister in Niwa, the medical nurse, she said she wants to call. My auntie, everybody was calling. Them. I said, look, no, no worry. Everybody relax. I'm in charge. I know when you will come. No worry. When you will come, they come. Very soon. No worry, relax. I'm in charge. I stayed with my wife in the hospital. That small thing I could eat yet, I would have. That is the best thing I can do. Yeah. Right now. If I don't do that now, now when? No, now when I want one. And who is the best person to do it to if it is not your husband or it's not your wife? Who is the best person to show it to? So people will tie you are tying what your husband has been doing to you. You will tie it. You say, this man, she goes, he goes suffer. Hey, you know, you're not giving him food. He come, he no greeting. He go, no greeting. You are not talking, and you are in one house, and you not come to church on Sunday. You not come to church on Sunday. Then the other person on the other hand will say, "Okay, you no money for you, nothing. Everybody is packing face. They are sleeping." They are. I heard the story. I, I'm sure you have also shared the story, sir. How a man with a wife quarrelled the night, and the woman was asthmatic, mm. and because of that anger, the man slept in another side. The woman slept in another room, mm. and when it was time, the woman was. You know, a smart yeah. patient, you know how they behave. The man was not there, the man didn't know because he was still angry over the quarter of night. And woke up in the morning, dressed up, and just went without checking the wife in her room. He came back to meet the husband. If you don't do one, give your wife a now. If you don't take care of your husband now, now when and now who you want, who is better to, to treat that way? There's a way, there's a way you do things, eh? Even when you don't have money, you are happy. You are just happy. Money on the back, but you are happy. Why? Because there's a way you and your wife communicate. That you think no other woman can replace. And you think no other person can replace. If my wife travel one week I got tired, I say, come back, please. That business never finished, I say, they come, they come. They come back. There's some other homes. If one won't travel, the other one will be happy. Make a quick range boss, make a quick range boss. And as he goes, you know what they come? You are, well, hope you, hope you, they will extend the business till you want uh, to next. You won't make it there. there. It's not supposed to be like that. It's not supposed to be like that. Church, am I speaking our mind? Yeah. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Yeah. The world is harsh. Make sure that you are the best couple in your company. Mm. Let, write it down. Let it be an assignment. Make sure you are the best couple, the best family in your compound. Because what God is about to do in your life, those your neighbors where they beef, where they look you anyhow. When God finish with you, they will say, ah, we don't know say we are not rich than we There's a song, there's a song that is ringing in my, on my mind. I, I, this song has been on me all through the week. I, I know my wife knows that song, but I, the choir, I don't know. That song I talked about is it. Yes, 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 yes,
God. Forget that. See, forget the congregation that comes to church. People have what they go through that they don't share. People have what they go through that they don't what they don't share. I see somebody who is crying every day. You are crying because your spouse is not trying. I don't know, you could be a man. I don't know why people are seated. Why are you sitting down? In this kind of auction, you are not supposed to be sitting down. It's possible that your spouse is the one crying. Or you are the one crying. That, oh God, why I married like this? Oh God, why my own be like this? But I come with the good news. I come with the good news. That by the special grace of God upon this commission called Ephata, and by the reason of this service, your home will be sweet again. Yeah. I said your home will be sweet again. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, yeah. I put my foot on the floor. No one is perfect. But upon the soil that we stand, yeah. God created a man. And God formed the woman from the rib of a man. Yeah. And God said, and two of them shall become one. one. And they shall raise their family and be blessed. Yeah. And everything about them shall be blessed. Yeah. And God said, my covenant with Abraham, my wife giving unto you. Whatever you do will be blessed. Yeah. I pray this morning for somebody. Yeah. I pray for you. Yeah. And I said in the name of Jesus, yeah. your home is blessed. Whatever commission, whatever thing that is following your family lineage, that will make a young woman to get to 35 and cross 35, 40, and they are not married. If anything like that is in your family, if anything like that is in your family, 35 years and above, you are not married. And many people also in the family have that kind of thing. I want you to come. If you sense anything like that around your home, come and leave that. Zapra Tushana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
happy. You are not told pastor. And you don't want to tell pastor. But you are not happy with what you are saying in your family. As in, I'm not saying no food to chop. No, that's not the issue. But there are certain things. There are certain battles you are fighting by yourself. There are certain things that are wrong. I want you to come and kneel before God right now. Kneel before God. Kneel down, my brother. God has a way. God has a way. God has a way. God will surprise you with something beautiful. And you will go see this your same marriage. And this your home. You'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. Mama, you'll be shocked. Because what God is going to do for you will win more souls to ever time. Because the people around you will not believe when they see me.
Father, we thank you, we exalt your holy name. We thank you for the unctions and for the anointing from the throne of grace. We cover your congregations with the blood of Jesus. We ask for grace to be the doers of the world. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the vessel that you have used today. Lord, unctions, more power, more anointing. Let me deposited into his life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Virtue has proceeded out of him. Feel him again, O oh Lord. Feel him again, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray. Let the church enjoy good home, good matrimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We exalt your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to dip your hand into your pocket and bring out a seed faith. A seed faith. A seed faith. So that you can key into today's unction. Into today's grace that is in the house. Dip your hand into your pocket. 